In the mid-20th century, amidst a world where scientific inquiry was rapidly evolving, psychologist Harry Harlow embarked on a series of experiments. These experiments would shake the foundation of our understanding of emotional development and attachment. His laboratory, a world apart from the norm, became a crucible for studying the profound effects of love, bonding, and isolation. In the mid-20th century, the field of scientific inquiry was rapidly evolving. Psychologist Harry Harlow embarked on groundbreaking experiments, altering perceptions of emotional development. His laboratory became a critical center for studying love, bonding, and the impacts of isolation. Harlow's research primarily focused on maternal separation. He boldly defied existing beliefs by separating infant monkeys from their mothers. This method starkly contrasted with the common view that nourishment was crucial for mother-infant bonding. Harlow argued that comfort and emotional needs were as essential as food. Harlow's key experiments involved two distinct surrogate mother figures. One was a wire structure providing food. The other, a cloth figure, offered no nourishment. Interestingly, the infant monkeys preferred the cloth mother, seeking comfort over food. This behavior dramatically contested the prevalent behaviorist theory that physical needs are central to attachment. Furthermore, Harlow explored isolation's impact on psychological growth. He created a distressing environment, the pit of despair. Monkeys in prolonged isolation faced severe psychological damage. They suffered from depression, anxiety, self-harm, and struggled with social interaction. These observations emphasized the importance of social and emotional connections in early development. Harlow's pioneering work, though innovative, raised significant ethical questions. The apparent distress of the monkeys prompted widespread criticism and intense ethical debates in psychological research. These groundbreaking experiments reshaped our understanding of emotional bonds in human development. They influenced child-rearing practices and altered theories about relationships and attachment. Today, Harlow's research is a cornerstone in psychology. It reminds us of the balance between acquiring deep knowledge and ethical research practices. His legacy underscores the importance of early relationships in shaping our emotional lives.